John tries to fix shit. Hi, welcome back to John Tries to Fix Shit. Today, we've got a real treat. This is for my missus. As you know, or don't know, my missus has a Ryobi tool. She has, now she has a, um, a combi drill. And then she has a glue gun. And now I've just bought her a jigsaw recently. So I thought this would be good. I'll get her a, a sanding attachment. And it'll be just a job. But... I didn't want to sp <laughs> didn't want to buy a new one. I saw this on eBay, thirty quid, thirty quid, and it said broken. I don't know. Anyway, so that's all it said in the thing. And the only thing that comes on is the light. So what we're going to do? We're going to strip it down. It's got a fully charged battery, so I know it's not that. So it's going to be the motor, which is about there. Oh, it's going to be the switch, I think. But before we go any further, before we go any further, before I start slagging off Ryobi tools, I quite like this. You see this um, little black bit there, and it's got one on both sides. Didn't know what that was, but you push them in, and the bloody head comes off. And that means you can turn the head at 90 degrees. I put that back how it was, hang on. You can turn that like that and have that on. 90 degrees. I think that's quite cool. Anyway, don't mean shit if we can't get it fixed. So let's get into it. Quite like these. Taking the all the torque. They've got torque screws in the old um, Rio Beat multi tool. Quite like that. So let's get the clamshell apart. Christ. I think I should have. Oh, hang on, other way around. There we go. There we go. Hmm. Hmm. Don't know really. We'll have to do some testing. I think it's going to be the motor, personally. It could be the switch. Anyway, let's get into it. Right, I think I found out what it is. As suspected. Well, I kind of suspected it would be the motor. This, looking at the inside of the clamshell, you can actually, it's actually printed in when this tool was made. And it's 19. Oh, I don't know, probably February 19, which is, means it's pretty much a, well, pretty, a pretty new tool. And um, the failure is there. I'll just try and get that up like that. Look at the play on that. Now, I think I'd say that should be a bearing at the back to hold the spindle dead centre but as you can see I don't know what what's happened there it's kind of collapsed so we're gonna have to go on eBay and see if we can get a new motor what's weird there's a little bit of this um, weird sort of like high temperature sort of silicon stuff and on the side of the switch if we can get that thing to focus what is this little thing it's got two wires going into the actual switch, and I don't know what that is. Perhaps someone can help me out there, I don't know. That is weird, weird, but everything else is just normal. But that's weird, don't know what it is. Anyway, we'll have to try and find out, won't we? Okay, I'm going to go on eBay and get a new motor. Hello, John, got a new motor. Ah, hello, John, got a new motor. Well, yeah, I've got a new motor. Fucking hell, I hope I don't get a cease and desist off. I like Alexi Sale. That would be pretty cool, but anyway, I don't think he'll mind. Anyway, yes, I've got a new motor for the Makita multi-tool. Oh, fucking hell, it's not a Makita multi-tool. It's a Ryobi... Ryo, fucking, there's too much Makita on my head. But it's a Ryobi multi-tool. Oh, what the crack is, this is weeks later. It took me a long while to source this new motor for the old Ryobi multi-tool but i've managed to get hold of one i think it was about 20 quid or something 25 quid as you can remember from the last one it, it all gone knackered at the back so this one is brand new so we're going to get this fitted in there so the ryobi ryobi uh, multi-tool will have a new motor it'll have a new motor okay let's get on with it fucking hell sound like mickey burrows anyway let's get on with it right we're back we've got it back together um I tell you what, when I'm putting all the switching and the motor and setting all that up on this fucker, was a nightmare. Fucking doesn't seem to sit right in the clamshell. Um, but we're giving it a scrub up. The, cl the actual clamshell, to be fair, 
is is really quite nice. What's this? Me liking a Ryobi tool? Well, that's the fucking good news. Anyway, let's get a battery in it and see if it works. Okay, here we go. Right, I've actually um, given it a go already. I've had a battery on it before and I've given it a test. I'm not going to fucking do a test, but it, it's it's okay. Well, that's not bad for you, for a Ryobi tools, really. No, no, right, to be fair, Ryobi tools are all right, but this is only okay. It's all right for occasional use, light duty. What that mean by that is it's not very powerful. But if you were using it occasionally on some small work, I think it'd be all right. But, you know, I was saying I was quite impressed with this bit here that comes off. No. It's a gimmick. It's a fucking gimmick. And what the, I don't like about it, I don't know if you can see that, there's, there's a load of flex in the front. Now, I don't know whether that's where, where, but it, I don't know, because this is the first time I've seen one of these multi-tools. But what happened, it, oscill it doesn't oscillate that that much. What, what the oscillation is, it's backwards and forwards like that. But you can imagine if that's oscillating, and then that's, oscill that's going backwards and forwards and rattling about, it's not going to cut very well. It cuts, I've tried it on a bit of plywood. It's all right. I might actually put a bit of video doing it. But um, very, very light duty. Well, it's got a light. <laughs> Got a light, look. And <laughs> why? What? what? What fucking idiot at Ryobi or Boffin decide? I know, know. I know what a multi-tool needs. I know exactly what. This will be a big selling point. A magnet on the base. What are you fucking supposed to do like that? What the fucking hell? You're supposed to put screws on it. You can put a screw on it. and end up fucking going through your hand, but why would you need a screw if you're using a multi-tool? Fail. Absolute fucking stupid idea. And also, to get it going, I don't like the switch. What I mean is on other on Makita multi-tools, it's got like a toggle switch, which you can turn on and leave on. But this thing, you've got to hold on to it. You've got to, ho I'll, you've got to hold on to it like that to make it work. And you can't, it hasn't got a, a trigger lock on it. Right, it, hang on a minute. It does have a trigger lock, but it only locks it to stop it being operated. It's got this little switch here, and that's to stop someone accidentally turning it on. You just flick it to the left, and then you can use it. But it doesn't have a lock, so you can lock it on. Only lock it off. And for some reason, it goes both ways. I don't know. But if you put it in the middle, like that, hang on. Put it in the middle, it locks the trigger, which is a kind of a safety thing, I suppose. Sorry, stop shouting. Anyway, so it's fixed. And what I'm going to do, my missus, I'm going to get her like a pack with some blades. And also, what she'll mainly use it for is a little bit of sanding. She might not use it hardly any at all. But now then, let's look. Let's do the maths. <laughs> I bought that this for 30 quid, obviously without the battery. And then think the... The actual motor costs 20 quid, so I'm 50 quid out, and they're not <laughs> brand new. I don't think you can get this model anymore, but you can get a similar model for about 70 quid or something, so maybe save 20 quid or something. But, and like I said, um, other models don't have this head bit that are actual. You can get a cheap a model that's slightly cheaper than 80 quid, I think, without this head bit on, which is meant to be a selling point, but it's not. I think that's pretty shit. But nevertheless, it's fixed and it's working and my missus is going to be pleased with me, hopefully. Well, here's hoping. Okay, there we go. Random is rad. Rock on.